Thanks to all our active patrons who have contributed a lifetime of $100 or more to reach Garoop Dong level status. Here is the list of those special patrons in order of contributions. If you would like to support our show, check out the Commander Smiths at Patreon.com. Welcome to Commander Smith. We are the Commander Smiths. I'm Adam Smith. And I'm Lowry Smith. And don't worry. People are probably We're wondering. Cousins. <laughs> Get the chest hair. It's too sexy. Uh, too, sexy. Like, too sexy. Too sexy. Oh, it's uh, fine. Let's try to. Get it started with uh, laughing and composure. Uh, yeah, composure. Uh, <laughs> We're professionals. Well, I was trying to catch you with you braid with you braiding your chest hair, and uh, I, you, I mean you, you were, didn't you think I'd going. go that far. Did yeah, I? yeah, yep. no. Yeah, episode two fifteen, and what do we have in store today, Lowry? What do we even um, call this one? Are we doing what we had discussed I about? I don't the, know what. Did we, the, like the yuck your yum and all that stuff? Or yeah, we just we're going to stop yucking people's yums. <laughs> yeah, Sounds yeah, gross yeah, when yeah, you yeah. say it out loud, <laughs> yeah. but okay. And this is, I'm stealing that term from the exile discord, but like, you know, it's basically oh, talking about. You're giving what? props to where you found or heard something. Yes. That's, that's unlike some other. Yes. Or, or main so, cha- but change list. It, essentially what it means is. Stop shitting on other people's things that they like. Fucking That's, counter spells. But there's <laughs> <laughs> hypocrites, and um, but we we'll discuss. We're basically going to be discussing how to talk to people. What? And, we're magic yeah. players. We do not know how to do yeah. that. How do this you, is <laughs> social? This is beyond the social contract. This is a just normal talking, conversational. How to connect and communicate with people. We're gonna go through tips and tricks. Um. Which and this should be like our biggest social episode because most of us don't know how to do that, right? So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to probably be right? wrong on most of this, but the you know it's probably just mostly. I haven't taken a psychology course in 15 years, so lay well, off at least me. You I'm took starving. One. Lay yeah, off oh, me. A couple, I'm a couple. You, you got to when you oh, go into teaching. Oh, that's not yeah, good yeah, for yeah. you. <laughs> you. Basically, the thing about psychology courses is oh, no. you you learn what's wrong with you. And oh, then you're okay. like, oh, <laughs> that's, more time with that's Larry. The reason. <laughs> it's uh, okay. Fun. So we, fun we got we got uh, yuck yums, and we are trying to get Lowry on track with uh, a little bit of stump the Smith savant. And Gwen is our stumper this week, so we'll Ooh. see how Lowry. Uh, what what is the prize though? The prize we are doing, we are giving away. Not this week, maybe, but hopefully not. Hopefully, I get it. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be the Showcase Art Hinata, the Dawn Crown Foil, right? There we go. That's yep, what we're foil. doing. It yep. is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, that is going to be for the next four weeks, hopefully. <laughs> and then we have... Uh, hopefully. So Gwen is our stumper this week. If she stumps you, uh, she will win that card. Uh, mm-hmm. We do have a little bit of an announcement, and it's kind of freaking crazy here. We are blowing. Well, well, they should say that a little bit faster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> a little bit well, faster. no, we're not. Bl- <laughs> we are. We no. <laughs> Adam, you guys, yes. you guys are. We are setting the record. We are. We're already what? We're four days, three days from the end of this month, and normally it comes down to the last day before we beat records. Normally. We beat this record two days after last week's podcast. Oh, yeah. good like for doing, you! Uh, watch those we visuals. We beat it. We beat the record. And we're not. We're not only beating the record. We're by far just blowing the record out of the water. Like this, that is, this is the blowing fucking, part. That is the blow. Is where I was right. going with that. Yeah. It's crazy how much it just increased this month. It was insane. So you guys are awesome. That is the only way that we get, uh, you know, the word of the Commander Smith spread around is just by you guys because. We don't we don't promote ourselves to anybody, you know. We, we no, get we're, occasional. We're piss poor at it. <laughs> yeah, we just we just do our thing, and then people tell other people, and that's how that seriously that's how this gets spread, and it's <sighs> fucking crazy. Yep, this like venereal went, disease. Eight, yeah, it's, it's from the us from person to from person us, from Lowry and from Adam. Us, us. <laughs> so, uh, like we did <sighs> before, to say thank you, we are giving away prize, but we're doing things a little ordering. differently here. This is gonna be fucking sweet. So first off. The Twitter one that'll be going is the mm-hmm. 
uh, retweeting, liking, and following us to win the Baseju, uh, just a regular, because they're fucking $25 by themselves. So that Baseju yep. is going to be yep. the card that you can win from Twitter. So everybody can take part of that. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's on the Discord, or not Discord, Patreon, if you're $5 or more, you are entered in to the battle box. Battle box. So between you me and- are going to battle box. You are battle boxing, but Larry and I are opening the cards. Yes. So all this is going to work is with new Capenna coming out. Uh, it's going to kind of work out perfectly. Larry and I are each going to get a box, and we're going to do like we did on the last with Kamigawa. We're going to open pack to pack. And it's going to be you guys that we're going to draw the names and go, it's, let's say Gwen this week. You know, Gwen's on for the stump this week. Gwen against, uh, like well, let's say, Re- and then we go, there, oh, we go. Have, there we go. Just... So then what happens is we flip the cards. Whoever the winner of the pack is, is going to win, them. gets the top five cards off of that. Yeah. Now, here's the other catch to this. If there's a tie... Then it go like if none of them are over a dollar, then it moves into the second pack or a tie. It moves into the the second pack, so they could potentially win more cards. We have to balance that out if we're going to say the top five. No, then we're going to have to figure to that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so we'll have to get into that in a little whatever. But so but, you have a whole month if you want to become a patron by the end of April. All five dollar or more patrons doesn't matter your level, but all five dollars or more. We appreciate if you go more than five dollars. Just saying, but all five dollars or more gets entered automatically, and you will be will will draw the names for who's going up against who. And, and well, the the people that have a higher patronage <laughs> will be more likely to be drawn by Adam. How about that? <laughs> why why is that? Because I'm <laughs> awful at pack opening. Nobody wants to be, oh, yeah. have me <laughs> open packs for them. So I'll take the top uh, the top uh, patrons, and you take the bottom patrons. Yeah, that that's. <laughs> <laughs> None of them want you to be. <laughs> no, Larry has Everybody me. goes up for. Oh, I guess I got nobody this year, this <laughs> month. So yeah, that's gonna be sweet. Uh, we kind of had this idea before the last, or right after the last one, and we're like, well, the next time we'll break the record, which will be next year. You know, it was going yeah. two times a year we were breaking. Did the not record. expect well, this. We did it. A, a we don't know how later. it happened. We didn't do anything special. <laughs> we just did our normal shit, and then the fucking numbers went. Way the fuck up. So awesome. Thank you guys. For like two weeks. That's, yeah. And it's high we, still, but yeah. yeah. You guys, it's just Sorry. awesome. Though. No, it's two weeks. It's yeah. more than two weeks. We're into three weeks now. Let's, let's come on, baby. Thank uh, you. Okay. So then we also have, so that'll be that the giveaway stuff that'll be starting. You'll see that pop up on Twitter. Uh, you have this whole month to become a patron. Uh, $5 or more, like I said. Uh, but we also have staple verses. So what is our staple verses this week, Larry? This okay. one's a toughie. This no, I don't know be. if it's a toughie. It's a toughie for you. <laughs> oh. Um, it's gonna be Basilisk Caller versus Shadow Spear. Mm. And we will see who the victor is. Mm-hmm. That's we will see. We, we will see. we will see. <laughs> mm. At least this week nobody has to look up what the card is. <laughs> Hey, you're because still wearing the crown from uh, the previous week. You, really. you are the winner. No, I took that off. Yeah, it was. It felt it right cheap. Now. It felt cheap that you you let me have psych. Was it cyclonic rift that I? Yeah, so it's cyclonic rift. Yeah. yeah, that felt. And cheap. I had a Johnny. Well, yeah. no, I just was trying something. I was uh, I was letting was you trying, see what the yeah. crown crown felt like. You for chose a bit. you chose the obvious loss. Well, that's fine. That's well, fine. I chose the card that I never have put in a deck and <laughs> against the card that I. Put in a shit ton of decks. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. All good. Mm-hmm. It's all good. Okay. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, oh, uh, no, I'll talk about that there. We killed the record. Battle box prizes. Both said you. Yep, we got all that. I, I was going to say, anything happened with you with this week? I do want to say one thing. Foo Fighters, I'm a little... Uh, little depressed with stuff with that. Um, I did queue up a thing, and I don't know if I really want to play it or not. Uh, but I was going to do a little shout out with the, my hero stuff, but I think I'm going to skip on that. I have it ready to go, but yeah. Anyways, like em- embarrassed. No, to show emotions. Cry. Is that no. what's going on? Oh, you don't want to cry. No, I, can understand I just, that. it hits me off and on. Like, is this weird? I don't know. Cause I don't know what's going to happen. And it's pretty fucking depressing, dude. Like the thing that the the gold part of this thing, and I already wrote it on the Discord, and you know what I'm gonna say, but 
we had our cousin's birthday, their daughter's one year birthday this weekend. So I saw Lowry and little Lowry came and the oh. first thing he said to uh, my wife, Cindy, fuck, he's the dude's a little, he's a little, he's a little sweetheart. He went up to Cindy and he was like, I'm sorry that the drummer for your favorite band died. And she's like, Oh, <laughs> like, He's a cute kid. Awesome. Yeah. He's that a cute kid. Big dude's a little, he's, you got something there, dude. So that was, uh, sorry. that was the highlight and all that shit. So, um, but we also have the slap heard around the world. So that's fun. <laughs> Maybe they could have listened to our podcast <laughs> and figured out how to communicate a little bit better. Oh, there. I was like, I don't get what you're trying to say there. <laughs> Yeah, so that happened. We talked a little bit about that. I mean, I'm I'm just hoping that after this pod, this this cast comes out, that world peace is achieved. That's all I'm looking for. That's what I'm hoping for. You think it'll right, happen? Fuck it, I'm playing this shit. Oh, right. oh, I'm playing it. I just got. I only can play ten seconds. So I'm just gonna play the. Okay. Okay. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. And that's all I wanted to play. That's all, that's all you want. Yeah. yeah. I can't play more than that. Otherwise we get the uh, little flaggers and all that stuff. So oh. yeah, I don't, if <clears throat> people don't know it, Foo Fighters is mine and my wife's favorite band. We've seen them 10 times. We have them. We took the boys this summer to see them. We had it scheduled to go see them this, this summer to see them with the boys here in the cities. Uh, my wife's and I wedding first song was Foo Fighters. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. I, I don't know what I would do. You know, I mean, Dave's already, he lost, you know, first band he's in big band Nirvana. You lose your singer and then you go off and you make your own band and then you lose your best friend, um, your drummer. You know, I wouldn't say he's like the best drummer in the world, but he's your best friend. Like, what do you do? Yeah. They almost broke up before when they had conflict and all that shit. So, um, I don't know what well, it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> anyways I, it's not fun moving. death is not yeah. fun i don't know yeah. how to deal with like negative shit like that so i don't i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> no there's a lot of people that like it, that's the kind of the cool thing is more so cindy than than me but people are reaching out to cindy and just be like thinking about you guys i know it's it's weird because it's a band and it's not like you knew them personally but it is it's like that's what we listen to all the time like that's all yeah. we've been nope, listening to you do for you, <laughs> I thank God they have a large catalog of yeah. Songs. Otherwise, it'd be like six songs over and over again. Okay, I get it. They had one CD. Had, you they, like that CD I mean, a it lot? It was good. Right? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So it's just it's weird. It's it's not like a person like when Dory died last year. That mm -hmm. was fucking tough. Our dog. Yeah. It wasn't like that, but it's still, it's there, you know? So anyways, let's move on. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to add. Did you have anything else that happened this week besides, oh, you got your drink there. Why don't we talk about, the... oh, oh, you're stroking it. Very what? nice. Well, <laughs> uh, so I'm stroking, drinking a... Stroking, are you thinking about Alex? I mean, Ibukaki no. when you're stroking that like that? <laughs> well, it is a gift from him, so it's. Oh, I'm oh. impressed at how long this is. I'm... <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed, but thank you, <laughs> yeah. I book hockey. Uh, this is a chocolate Marion blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, cacao mead. Cacao. Uh, that's, that's a lot of berries in there. It is. It's interesting. I've never had a mead like this. Normally, they're just like honey meads. So wasn't, I wasn't meads that a mead time. that he brought uh, to the, the first uh, games he came up to my place at? I wasn't that like remember. a peanut butter and jelly mead? Oh, that no, one? that wasn't a, it was just I don't a think beer. it was a mead. It was just a beer. Yeah. He did have a mead up there, too, because I didn't have. know what a mead really was. And then he was like, what? Yeah. That's what people yeah, used know. to drink. Like, back, I don't know. back I in thought it was a like Harry, Game Harry of Thrones Potter times. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's butter beer. They had right. butter beer. That's not, <laughs> so, even, not even the same <laughs> thing. So it's, it's, I mean, I'm not a big mead connoisseur, so I don't know if it's good or not, but it's from Superstition meadery out of prescott arizona <laughs> so if you if, if i'm saying that this is very drinkable um i hope that there aren't like mead heads out there that are like that shit's fucking awesome or awful mead i head. don't know i don't know enough i don't you just know you're going to be hammered because it's what 13%? i think it's 13 and a half percent yeah nice it's like uh i'm drinking yeah. the last of my coffee cake 
Blonde Ale. I had four of them on, or I didn't have four, but I bought four of them uh, on Friday. So the last one, it's a <clears throat> coffee with vanilla beans and what is it? Ceylon cinnamon. Is that right? Ceylon cinnamon? C E Y L O N. Hit the button. Uh, this is from. Why, is why, why, Thank you. you. Can't even read. Start to learn where that button is without looking. Portage Brewing Company. So it's pretty tasty. That's good. Mm -mm. That was sexy, Laurie. All right. Well, let's get into things here. Uh, you guys can become a patron if you donate a dollar or more. That gets you into the Discord. Uh, Five dollars or more not only gets you proxies each, each month, but if you do that for this month of April, you will also be entered into the battle boxes, which will be starting probably what that what do we figure it was opening weekend i don't know why you put in the that i want to be like cyclops yeah <laughs> uh but it'll what be opening weekend opening which i think weekend? is the what? the first of may first weekend of may or whatever uh so that's when we'll be doing the battle boxes so five dollars or more gets you entered into that not only yep. with that proxies yep. foil proxies all that fun stuff uh you can also support us that is the the money way to support us that is the financial way to support us but the free way to support us is to jump on youtube subscribe there watch our videos we have tons of them because here we got one two three i'm going to go through five of them here first on the list curated mtg happens twice a week what was the one that happened uh today as of monday uh cauldron haze it is a colorless and an Orzov, not an Azorius, like I said in the <laughs> goddamn video. But um, basically, you can choose any number of target creatures, and they gain persist. So if they die, they come back into play. You got some cool commanders like Tesa uh, Karlov, where you're getting like you're going to be able to get those death triggers again. Um, so it's it's definitely a cool card. It's only in like a thousand EDH rec decks too, so like pretty underplayed. Um, and then I'm supposed to do like next week. Is that what we're doing? What was your Friday one? Yeah. You know that one was? It was a good one. I'm about to find out. Uh, it was that green one. Primal. Primal it growth? It is. Yes. Primal growth. It's a sorcery, and you can kick it. And you get to, if you sacrifice a creature for kicking it, you yes, get to you get can. two lands into play, untapped. Two basics into play, untapped. Pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. So that is curated. The biggest thing with curated is watch those not only on YouTube. You can also watch those on Twitter or Twitter <laughs> on TikTok. Sorry, Twi TikTok or on YouTube. So those are two spots. You can watch those videos. Biggest thing is watch through those videos. Give it a like that keeps promoting. It keeps going, spreads the love. Uh, we also have, oh, I didn't mention this last week, but we have mail day crack packs videos where we're opening cards. I opened $1,200 worth of buy list cards from Card Kingdom two weeks ago. Forgot to mention it last week, but there's a video on there of all the yeah. cards I got out of there. It was a half specs, half um, uh, toolbox card, so check that out. Uh, we also have Proxy Time. This last week, Proxy Time was, that's on Sundays, normally at 7.30. I am changing that just so you guys know it's going to go to 9 o'clock because we're starting to get into... Nicer weather. Normally we're we're grilling late. Boys aren't in bed yet necessarily, or I'm putting them in bed. One of the two. Nine o'clock is just an easier time for me, and then I can stay on longer if I want to do more than just a half an hour. Like I keep running into, oh, uh, I got to get these proxies done because I got to go put the boys to bed. Like I had to do last night. So at nine o'clock they're already in bed, so I can whatever. That's my whatever. Uh, so what did I do? I did. Sword of which sword was that? Shadow, sword, light and shadow, and then I did food chain. So two versions of sword of light and shadow, and then did food chain. <clears throat> um, so yeah, check those out. That was uh, Sunday. Just watch that through. I'm gonna be probably. I gotta try to finish the swords, and I gotta finish up the fetches because now we have the duels done, the shocks done. And I have two fetches to hit up, and then I'm done with the fetches. So then you're, you're three mana Those bases. Are huge. That's huge. Those are big. Those go in almost every freaking freaking deck. Mm. So once I get the fetches done, then we're all done with all that stuff. So Sweet. check those videos out. Uh, we also have spotlight or searching for the spotlight. Are we having that this week, Larry? On Thursday. Last I'll, week I'll probably was... do a switcheroo. Switcheroo. Okay. Or yeah, uh, switcheroo is also part of that series. 
Uh, but last week's, what did you do? You did Will and Mike, uh, right? Working on the part two for Will and Mike. Um, I cut it down. I was within like eight, um, and I've kind of messed around it with it since then. I like where the deck is at. You can find us at Commander Smith's on Moxfield and kind of follow us there, and then you can check out the decks as we put them in. I've been trying to Update put my decks in lately, um, yeah. so we'll slowly keep on adding more and more decks to it if you like looking at that kind of stuff uh and we will turn those into you know spot tech, tech style actual, videos yep. as well yeah so those will happen larry's getting his new computer very 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 soon so then everything's going to start happening too. there yeah so tons and tons of videos we also had discord games from last week uh we only we only record the one where we're both on so it was a pretty fucking awesome game uh pretty quick game for a commander game that we normally play it was only just over an hour long was it uh we had Eureka going we had um Hinata, Hinata. general ruckus and neheb the neheb, mono red yeah. so the, the, everything kind of did their thing except for Hinata didn't get going until i didn't do my thing yeah i yeah. didn't so, but everything else, I mean, everything was kind of going crazy and it was a good game. It was a good, game. It was a good, it was a good, good game. fast game. So that was, yeah. that was pretty sweet. So check that out. We're going to be doing more of those games live and they're always going to be live. So you guys can check those out and join us there. All right. So that's YouTube. You guys can jump, jump on Twitter. That's where you guys can follow us. We will post all these things when they're happening. If you're not following us on YouTube, we'll be on Twitter's Twitter. Place to be. Yeah. Twitter's where we pop it on there. You can interact with us on YouTube. And you can try to on Twitter as well, but whatever. And yeah. there's polls on Twitter. And you can direct messages there on That's Twitter. Right. But the best way to get a hold of us is to shoot us an email at commandersmiths at gmail.com. And as the best way to give us suggestions for this, <laughs> it's time for everyone's oh. favorite game show. I know what it Ron is. Smith I just don't know the name. All right, if you guys don't know how this game works, I'm going to read the flavor text of a card, and Larry's going to try to guess the card by asking yes or no questions. Every yes, you will hear this. Hello, boobies. Every no, you'll hear this. Wrong, 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 wrong. You will get up to five wrong guesses. After the fifth wrong guess, he will lose, and our stumper will win the card. As we said earlier, uh, we have a foil showcase Hinata that is up for grabs. And mm -hmm. this week's stumper is Gwen uh, from the Discord. And what else do we got? Oh, and the deck, the card <clears throat> has to be in at least 5,000 EDH rec decks or more. And if Lowry can guess everything about the card, except for the name of the card, he can guess the casting cause, he can guess the, you know, whatever it is, he will get the initials as a bonus clue. So, all right, here we go. Far from human eyes, birds flit between vivid blossoms and, or between vivid blossoms in a hidden paradise. Far from human eyes, birds flit between vivid blossoms in a hidden paradise. Flit threw me off because I was like, is that, did I just read a flit? word wrong? <laughs> you were um, looking at the button. I saw you look at it. Don't even press it. <laughs> all right. Far from human eyes, birds flit from vivid what? blossoms vivid in a bl hidden paradise. In a hidden paradise. <sighs> I mean, I f like gut reaction. Uh, is it birds of paradise? Wrong, 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 wrong. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I think. I mean, it made sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about birds and paradise stuff. I got gotcha. you. I know why you were doing it. Well, even flitting, you know, to bird and then to mana. All right. <sighs> um. So so um. I did my guess. I'll take a. I'll take a clue, please. Okay. So. The flavor text describes the art, so I'm not going to give you the... I, I can't do the art any other way. Like, it's saying what the fucking card is. So instead, I will give you when it was originally printed, which is a big hint, but is originally printed in Jumpstart. So let me read, because the hint is the flavor text describes the art. So originally printed in Jumpstart. 
Here is what the flavor text says again. Far from human eyes, birds flit between vivid blossoms in a hidden paradise. <clears throat> the hard part is, it's from Jumpstart. Do yep. you know the cards from Jumpstart? <laughs> That's or else that is like, a hard part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> originally printed or it is originally just printed. printed. Originally printed. Um my oh my. Okay, yeah. so it's birds flitting from what's that word after it says flitting? Flit between vivid blossoms in vivid a hidden paradise. Blossoms to a hidden paradise. <clears throat> in a hidden paradise. In a Vivid blossoms in, in a, a hidden paradise. paradise. So yeah, really your keys is that part describing. Birds flit between vivid blossoms in a hidden paradise. Okay. Um I mean it I probably still have Birds of Paradise in my mind, but it still feels like a green card. Um, and it feels like flitting is that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, it's not a Pokemon card. Are you sure, Pokemon? <laughs> Pokemon. Um, <laughs> Damn it. I forgot to mention that. Um, okay. Um, is this a rare or a mythic card? Wrong, 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 wrong. Common or uncommon? It's a common or uncommon. I got two wrong so far. Yikes. Okay. Originally printed... Uh. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh. did you even buy any Jumpstart? No, I didn't. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, this shit. is, it's problematic. You got a wrong guess. Why don't you get another clue? I'll take a, I'll take a clue, please. All right. The text features a negative ETB, a constant, and something that can be chosen when played. God damn it. It's one of those lands. <laughs> Is it a land? Hello, boobies. Common fucking land. All right. I'm going to admit I do not know the names of these. So if you can name it, everything about it, you get uh, initials. Uh, it comes into play tapped. It yeah. comes into play and it uh, produces definitely a color of whatever it is and then when it comes into play you can choose a color and it will also produce that um, but do you know what color this one is producing it hardly matters like I said so it's let's say green is it producing a green the initials are T G and I will give you an extra hint because you do not normally get these the all the cycle the T is all the same. It's, you know what I'm saying? So if that yeah. might help you a little bit. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Because actually um, my, my my third clue isn't going to help you, so that could be my third clue, really, because you've okay. already gotten what it, you know, it's not going to help you. So the T in all of this cycle is the same word, and then it's the second word that changes for each one of them. All right. Is the first word terrain? Wrong, 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 wrong. Mm, that's three wrong. TG? Yep, TG. What did I say? I said terrain. Yeah. Terrace. Is it a, is terrace? Is that what your first one? Is that what your yeah, guess is? Yeah. Wrong, 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 All right. wrong. All right. So we, we have one more left. G. You have um, <clears throat> is the G like a grotto? G R O T T O? G Grotto? Is that your guess? Yeah. 
Wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah. yeah, you got me. If I give you thriving, does that help? They're all thriving. Uh, yeah. I, no, I don't know. Grove. Grove. All right. Thriving Grove. Uh, Sweetness. 13,000 decks? 13,000 EDH rec decks. We've been we've been ragging on the ones that gain you a life, but yeah, don't <laughs> don't don't play those. <laughs> They're not good. Oh damn it! All yeah. right, you got it. Good job, Gwen. <laughs> Perfect. Just giving away cards. See, that's what we do on this show. We just give away cards. Tell everybody you can scam us. Just pick a <laughs> just pick a land and send it to send it to just us. Just pick a, <laughs> a land. <laughs> Land, land is Lowry's nemesis. Nemesi. All right. Uh, okay. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. All right. So you guys can send in your suggestions just by emailing me or it's me because I'm watching the email, uh, but it's, but also right on there. So Lowry doesn't accidentally see it. Correct. Uh, but that's commander Smith at gmail.com. Remember it has to be in 5,000 decks or more. We'll think of the prize for next week. Maybe it'll be a, like a two dollar card for you I guys. Don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, we won't say anything until you pick and find out what it is, and then we'll have a couple of choices. <laughs> if you're like, "All right, this is gonna be hard," we're gonna go with <laughs> a land, a we're basic gonna go land <laughs> with Farseek, yeah. <laughs> and we'll sign it. That'll make it better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. Uh, all right, so we move on to our main segment, which is. I would just say build a better deck. No, no. that's not this one. That's not. Do we have a button right, that would how, work maybe, better? Maybe this one. Okay, kill him. Because yeah, that that's how work. you feel Yeah. sometimes. Yeah, okay. So We're dealing with frustrations. Yeah, so how, how, are we, uh, how are we walking into this one? Okay, let's. So, <clears throat> the idea came from Hinata. I mean. And what happened was there was a lot of excitement and I, I was in the excitement boat and then there was a bunch of people that came out. This is Twitter. All right. Understand Twitter is what it is. Mm -hmm. And, and if you don't know, maybe don't go, but Twitter has a lot of opinions and there was plenty of people that came out and went, this card is already boring. I'm going to hate playing against it. I'm going to hate, it's a boring brew. You know, like there was a lot of things said, and it was just kind of like, "Oh, that fucking sucks." Yeah, like because I was. I think it looks excited. awesome. Yeah, people and are so, hating on it because of the, the the tax. People are immediately like, "Oh, you're getting tax, and you're getting stuff for less. This is ridiculous." Like yeah. that's well, I mean, there's. I think there's. You know, I think people will just go like, "Okay, you're just going to go and destroy everything." Yeah. yeah, there's some of that too, but like everybody has their hate for it, and that kind of like. It didn't upset me, but I was like, oh, that sucks. And I was like, should I even build it? And, and you know, you go back and forth and, okay, so let's, let's quantify. This segment's probably going to jump around to a lot of different ideas. This is a huge, wide open idea. With arms concept. wide open. And I don't, we're probably not going to hit everything, but okay. So... And, and then you sit down and you're going like, I'm never going to play against this person. Their opinion is valid, but I don't care about it. But what you worry you know about what I mean? is, do you think other people in our play group would have that same opinion? Yes. And so part of it is like that person's, even though we're saying like, don't yuck other people's yums, it's also, you need to take into consideration at least the people that you regularly interact with, you should take in their points. Mm -hmm. You know, if 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 a lot of your play group, so maybe the other thing is, <clears throat> this is probably geared towards if you have a regular pl play group, friends that you play with, you know, um, but if you're out there in the the wild and you're just being randomly put together with people. Um, that's where like rule zero conversation is really important. And we'll probably touch on that. But most of this, I think, is dealing with people that you regularly deal with. Right. So, but the thing is, is when you see people bashing one idea, um, whatever it may be, 
you it doesn't matter what they're saying unless you directly know them or you are you're you're going to interact with them mm -hmm. right you know it doesn't matter that somebody doesn't like Hinata and there's a group of people that don't like Hinata if i sit down and talk with the people that i regularly play with or you know the discord or then i go this is what i built this is whatever deck it is and if they're going ah that i don't like that but at the same time they also should be allowing me to explore right just because aristocrats has been done a million times and it's very similar all the way around if you haven't built aristocrats build it right it doesn't matter that other people are going are, are poo-pooing on it don't let them yuck your yum try it if there's something that you want to work with if there's something that you want to build with and you're worried that other people are going to be like Oh, that's been done a thousand times. You haven't done it a right. thousand times. The other side to that is also realize when people don't like your yum as much as yes. <laughs> you like your yum. Yes. Um, it, I guess catch on to, I don't know, social cues, I guess, a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you start to realize, mm -hmm. and I've used this example before, is... Back in the day, one of my favorite decks, I still to this day, is probably one of my, one of my most, uh, my best functioning decks is Rashmi. Mm -hmm. When I was mm -hmm. playing Rashmi, I'm looking around the table and people are fucking rolling their eyes, just bored out of their mind because my turn is on your turn. At the end, when you say go, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm going to do this, this, and that. Okay, now you can go. Next person yep. goes, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to do this. It fucking was so efficient. Like, I could take on three people at once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'd be totally fine. But the thing mm -hmm. is, is I looked mm -hmm. at the table. I was having fun, but no one else was having fun. And if you keep playing a deck, if I kept playing Rashmi all the time, people are going to want to play. They're like, not going to play with me. Like, it's just like, that, yeah. that sucks, you know? So there's... And, and the social cues are the first instance right. of if... when you are communicating. You're, yeah. you're like example between me and you, I can start going like, I'm kind of, you know, I'm rolling my eyes. I'm grunting going, oh, are we done yet? Is it your turn? Is it my turn? That is taking forever. Like try and pick up on those things. Yeah. Some people are going to be oblivious to it and understand that. Like that's where you're going to end up going into that, that the further steps of like, Hey, maybe, okay. Maybe this is where we're getting into the, the next idea. Yeah. The, don't wait until you're pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wait until you're upset. Be calm about it, but address it. Right. And so like Adam built the deck. He enjoys the deck and he should be allowed to play that deck. It's still sitting up there on my shelf up there, but yeah. I haven't played that deck in probably four or five years at, at least. But like, yeah, like ration it. Yeah. You know, like do it every once in a while. Get more decks, you know, there, there, and, and, and you got to, and Adam has plenty of decks. He can choose from them. And if he wants to be especially salty, if people are picking on him or whatever, you flicking me off. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I didn't realize that. I started itching with my one finger. I was like, oh, let's pick the other finger up. So I don't look like I'm flicking off Larry. So, you know, like those, those are those back and forths. Like there's compromises that you need to be making if you're feeling like shit. Cause I think Adam said it like if you're having fun, but other people aren't having fun, then eventually you're not going to have fun. Cause what happens after the Rashmi deck, you get picked on. Right. Yeah. And so like, and then if you're wondering, well, like, why am I getting picked on this game? I'm not doing anything because every game, if it's consecutive. Yeah. You're playing back is to back. Is going, is he, going to have an effect. Well, I won have that, that last game. Oh, Lowry's won the yep. most games tonight. Well, let's get Lowry right away. And it just doesn't. That happens. You just go after that person because they did win a lot of games or the last game or whatever. Yep. And then you need to own that. Yeah. Again, I could be, I could be upset about that and be like, this game doesn't have anything to do with that game. Or I'm not even a threat right now. Or, you know, there's so many excuses that I could make other than the real thing of I was a dickhead last game <laughs> and they're going to, they're going to teach me a lesson this game. Yeah. And hopefully it's just this one because mm -hmm. it could go on the rest of the night or it can go on, you know, 
six months from now or the next time that An we play. An entire People, weekend. Yeah. We've had the that happen. Thing, That's yes. another, another thing we get to. <laughs> one thing that you need to understand is people associate their feelings with you, not necessarily what is happening in that instance. Mm -hmm. And when you make people feel bad during a game, during conversations, during real life, they will associate those feelings. It's one of the strongest associations they're they're going to have. Whether you were right or not, if you make people feel bad, they're going to have a negative association with you. Right. And so you want to make sure that even if Rashmi is going off every turn, maybe be a little bit more humble. Be like, oh, sorry, this, okay, I won't play it this, you know, like play it off right. and not be a cock ass like I am sometimes. Like, oh, oh, oh that was fun. You know, <laughs> like you don't want to do that. That makes, again, people feel worse. Yeah. And so like, you, again, they're your friends, Right. right. Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly. You want to have fun with them. Right. <laughs> so make sure that you're creating fun scenarios. And and, and that's that's kind of the uh, two sided sword with this. And like, yeah. yeah, all of this is right. like you. The greatest thing is remembering those awesome freaking games. Like, yeah. And I have this in my notes of like the best games are when like crazy shit happens. You never you never forget that, you know, you're like this, I did this and this happened or this happened. You never forget that if you're the one that's doing the crazy, if the crazy things happen and stuff is happening with you, but I'll tell you that other players also won't forget the really shitty games. Yes. Like fully those agree. stick with you forever. Like we still reference and we are going to reference the Jake game of yep. counter his deck that they just counter spelled and counter spelled and counter Jake hasn't played with us in five years. Well, and it's longer than that, dude. More than that. Longer yeah, than that. It's like you 10 know, it was, years, dude, at this point. No, it's, is it really? That? No. Yeah, it was before kids. I didn't have kids then. Drake is seven. Wait, you, seven. All right. <laughs> it was when That's I got, wild. when I got this okay. scar, because I had, remember I was recovering from, I didn't see that right there. Were you really? I was recovering from surgery because I had a uh, Percocet. And I remember that because I was just like, did I flip out at Jake because I was on Percocet or did I flip out at Jake? Cause I, and I was like, no, I lost my shit. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's let's talk about that a little bit here. So, our cousin Jake, we we love him dearly. Um, and you eh, know we definitely no, have kidding. our issues. At, yeah, yeah. No, I. You know what I mean. We have our issues at this point, and it's not just because of magic, but with magic, <clears throat> it kind of showed itself, right? And we were playing a game of Commander. And I did some weird shit. Like I doubled everybody's mana, drew 10 cards. Adam had consecrated Sphinx out. Again, this is seven plus years ago. And I remember what happened. Mm -hmm. So I drew 10, Adam drew 20. And um, so it was me and then Jake was going to go. And then you were third and Jake went, what the fuck are you doing? Basically, I don't think he said fuck, but he's like, what are you doing? You're going to have Adam's going to draw 20 cards and double his mana. He's going to win this game. I was like, let's see what you can do. And I, I did a little bit beyond that. I was like, I'm losing this game unless I draw something right. here. I have to draw something here. It's funny because so, I don't remember what the board state was. I just remember yeah. him getting knocked out and then going and you knocked him out. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting knocked yeah. out and then him going behind you and you two working at killing me. And that's when I lost it because that's what he would yeah. do. Yep. It wasn't just that game. It was like, he does that in everything that we would do, like games he would play. Games in general, yeah. Yeah, he, he did that. And so when he got not, when he gets knocked out, he goes, and you you claimed, if I'm remembering right, that he would go almost against you. Yeah, well, it always and, go to and you. He'd be never somebody, come behind on my shoulder, which... That's fine. I didn't. I mean, multiple play people would be in games like in general. So yeah. I don't know if it was always me. You well, know no. I mean? Back in the day, that was just us three. We were the okay. only three playing. Commander. I'm saying oh, beyond yeah, other magic. games, other games. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But he would, no matter what, he would for go magic, behind somebody else that for was magic, playing. It was always going behind you. Yeah, yeah. And it was two against one. And yeah, that's where I was like, I, that day I even thought it. I was like, yeah. I don't know if it was the Percocet talking that made me just fucking 
finally just go fuck that. And I just was like, yeah, I lost my shit. And I was like, stop. Why are you getting fucking behind Lowry? I don't want this to like, this yeah. happens every fucking time. And then and it shouldn't, it shouldn't even technically mattered because like, I still wasn't going to win, but you didn't know that. And so, you know, Jake gets out, he's behind me. This is something that's bothered Adam for a long time. And I'm oblivious to it. Like, I'm just going, you know, I'm just playing the game, trying to figure that shit out. Mm. And you are too. And when, when I made that play, it already kind of like upset Jake. Yeah. And him over my shoulder has been upsetting you for a while. Yeah. And so then I, and you had never talked to me or Jake about that. Right. And then it just kind of blew up. Yeah. (laughs) Instead of talking about it ahead of time, it was instead of having a civil conversation about it before and being like, Hey dude, can you not get behind Lowry? It turned into God, you always get fucking behind Lowry. You're always doing that shit. And then it turned into Jake doesn't do confrontation very well. Hence why he moved to South Dakota and he's fucking there now. (laughs) As Uh, in, as in he's, not calm at all. No. Like he literally once, once you guys did that. your thing, like you kind of argued and then he was done. He went into the other room while me and you tried to talk through it and compromise. And we, we talked about for like an hour at least. Yeah. We talked for a long time and he hid <laughs> yeah. in the bathroom or downstairs in the, the he, downstairs bathroom. Whatever. He was on a couch somewhere. Yeah. Just no, he was listening to us Was he? Okay. and he claimed again, he claimed that I was against him when really I was compromising between just trying to be like, yep, what Jake is doing makes sense. You don't want him doing that, but you know, whatever beyond that, I don't remember what we were really compromising. There was a lot that came out there. Yeah. And when you're holding in stuff like that, and again, this isn't really going into the like yucking the yum, no. but this is just like dealing with being able to, if you have a friends. problem, if you have a problem, you need to talk about yeah. it. And that's, you don't just let it build up and have a blow up. Agreed. Right. And, and so like if, and that was the yep. last day Jake played Magic. He yep. quit. Uh, he still owned his cards. Uh, I think he's still to this day. Uh, yeah, some of them. I think he gave some to his sister. Yeah. So you know. he he quit Magic at that point. Uh, I did talk to him later. Oh, I mean, for months, dude. There was uh, I yeah. don't. And our relationship never was the same after that. Agreed. And that's the Agreed. grudge part of Jake that has always been there. Um, my relationship. So with- he's holding on to this for no reason. At this point, like, but yeah. he has a valid reason to hold on to it. He needs to work his way through it. He didn't talk with us at mm-hmm. all about it. And, and Adam had those issues building up and you should have, you know, like you said, you should have said something yep. about it be- when you weren't angry, when Jake wasn't angry. When I wasn't and, on Percocet. <laughs> yeah. And, and we might've been able to, you know, talk our way through it, make some compromises because compromising when it comes to trying to make sure your friends are having fun and happy is important. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, there are times where you just need to eat it. Like this is a little thing. I don't need to really like, I don't need make to big make conference. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's an angle of just like, if somebody's flicking their cards, like eat that shit, who cares? Like get over yourself, get over it. It's fine. Yeah. Like if they're tapping it to the their lands to the left rather than the right, or if their lands are positioning in front, in none front of that or, matters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Figure out what actually matters, what's actually the problem, and then address it. Let's get into what we had happen last week a little bit with um we're not gonna name names or anything, but we, you know, posted Adam's proxy time oh. uh on a place. And somebody was commenting and they literally, they were insulting. They were rude. Yeah. And they were saying it, you know, it looks like a five-year-old is doing it and shit this, like that. This is bull. It's, this is a shit job. Like, which by the way, yeah. let me back this up. The dual land, unstable lands up until this point, up until that point, I should say, was probably my best work that I've done. Like actually working yeah. on the card. I spent hours on each card once I figured out how we were going to design it, we spent like I had collaborating with Lowry figuring out, and I've yeah. talked about this already before, but put, we spent, I spent a ton, a ton of time on just those. And then this guy yeah. just 
shit all over him. Just not not just being like <laughs> I don't like him. He just super was rude. rude about it. Yeah, super and when rude. we asked questions, just like we were being, I was trying to be funny, doing my normal yeah. Discord gif gif thing where i'm like oh i'm gonna go cry, I'm gonna go now. cry now yeah no, no response there and then i was like oh we got a troll here troll train all this stuff dude just turned into this huge dick said i yep. if i saw somebody playing with this card i'd tell him to flip it over and write on a card because it looks better yep. than this shit and i was just like what the? and so like the thing that i was doing was trying to ask questions on like so what's your issue with it and because they were doing general like it looks like shit, you know, yeah. like what we were just explaining. And that's all he was saying. And when you have issues in general, don't be general, be yeah. specific. What is your actual issue? And if you don't know it, you probably shouldn't say anything. Cause all you're going to do is make people upset, start an argument, and you're not going to know what you want to say. And so when you have issues, make sure that you know specifically what you want to say, because what you're doing potentially is hurting somebody. Yeah. And we're talking I, about your friends. Yeah. Be specific. Don't want to hurt your friends. Yeah. You know, and, and using an example again with the proxy, because when we were collaborating and we were talking about it, you're going, what about this? And I go, I don't like, you know, I don't like how you were doing the thing in the middle. Oh, it was turned you know, to the side and yep. more. Yeah. And so then and I changed it. And I'm, I yeah. was being specific about what I didn't like. Mm -hmm. And then Adam's going, oh, okay, let me. And then you ask your wife, you know, you think about it a little bit because that gives something to think about. If I just went, I'll fucking like that. Yeah. That means well, it doesn't nothing. help me. Yeah. Well, what don't you like about it? Yeah. I just don't like the card. It's shit. I, a five-year-old could do better than that. And be like, all right, well. I'm going to tell you too. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It affected me. Like it shouldn't yep. have, even though the dude, like when we asked him specific questions, like he was like the arts, just garbage, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, well, I guess it's just, you know, subjective because I think the unstable lands are fucking amazing. And I think the art is awesome. And he's like, yep. I love the unstable lands too. And I was like, did you ever watch the fucking video? Because these are unstable yep. lands. Like, I don't get what's going on here. He was, but it, was, it was again, saying weird things. And so like, and the funny thing is, is like he commented on this week's proxy time saying he really liked the food chain. I was like, Which, okay, because you're doing the same things, <laughs> like the same way that you're doing it. So yeah, that, <laughs> that tells me that conceptually he, he didn't like the dual lands that you were doing. Yeah. But he wasn't being specific enough to be able to, for us to even know what the issue was. Yeah. It felt like he was just trolling. And if he wasn't, we didn't know what his problem was with it. Yeah. And so now he's going, okay, I, I, you know, I like the, what you're doing with it. And it's just kind of going like, okay, you got to deduce this shit and that's fucking work. Yeah. Just be specific, straightforward with what your issues are. And that can be with like deck building. That can be like, let's talk about, you know, like you can do social contract issues. If somebody's playing like mass land destruction and has no win that fucking sucks. Yeah, you should be able to be about. like, Hey, get if a, you're going to do this, get a win, win the con. game. Yeah. Don't just destroy to destroy. Or, or if you don't have a problem with that, or you just have a, like, I don't like ma like mass land destruction. I don't think that should be here. And you can open that up to the group conversation. And if you just don't like it in general, that's fine too. But you need to be able to have that conversation without being yeah. angry, without making somebody feel bad about it. And, you know, uh, some of the compromises can be, look, you get play that once a night and then we'll move on or try, you know, encourage people to get more decks so they have variety in the games. Um, You know, a lot of this is case by case basis. But getting mad just generally doesn't work especially right. amongst your friends so have that conversation because then what happens is because you can blow you up. no longer play with those friends anymore yeah <laughs> we had um, i don't know if we go names with that one but we also had another person that we've talked about yeah. before who used to play with us who yeah. um would take out grudges on people if you attacked him and just go all out on those people 
Um, I mean, everybody has, everybody knows somebody that goes, uh, the first blood player, if you attack them and they go, well, I'm fucking attacking you the rest of the that game. That was also a Jake thing. Jake did yeah. that too. Jake had that, that mentality as well. Uh, but we no longer play with this other player because it would just, well, I had to blow up with him as well. <laughs> <laughs> It'll blow up with him because uh, that happened with. Uh, maybe, I just maybe this is a secret <laughs> segment for you, Fuck, Adam. Is it me? Is, <laughs> are you about to pull in about seven other people on this Zoom call? So, hey guys, come in, Adam. We need to have a conversation here. No, like that blow up happened was guys' weekend, and mm -hmm. the first game we played on a Friday night, um, I did something to him, and he didn't like it, and for the rest of the weekend he wouldn't let it go and he came at me. And so I just didn't, I didn't want to play games. And I didn't play any more magic. I didn't play magic after that. I played, I think two games that whole weekend and then got drunk okay. the last week or the last <laughs> night and didn't confronted well. him about, about it. And jokingly, but then he got mad and then I got mad that he got mad. And then it turned into this. Lowry was the inner calming everything down. Like he normally does. I tried. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah. Right. Larry okay, is the but that's, peacemaker. But anyways, that's one no, that's one thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, when it comes to like <clears throat> the reason why you don't want to come at things angry is if you're trying to address an issue. Whoever you are trying to address it with is going to be defensive. Yes. More than likely. And so, you know, internally, externally, it could be, you know, they're going to react in some way. And so if you come at them with really high energy, anger, they're going to meet it. Mm -hmm. People well, meet where they are being aggressed at or being addressed at. Can I jump and on so that so, point with this too? Or are you, or are you ahead. about to yeah, do the go same ahead. point? Were go you ahead. about to do the same point with this? I don't care. Go ahead. Well, no, is the the same thing happened with the same person. This is actually what, why it ended was – we started the proxy rule pretty pretty soon after that uh, yeah. interaction that I had with him. And, mm. um, and then we decided, okay, we, we are allowing you to play with proxies now, but you have to own the card, okay? Change the game for us. Fucking the best thing. I've said it multiple times. The best thing that we have done besides changing yeah. to commander instead of playing 60 card decks, second best thing that's ever happened is doing this rule. Yep. In the first month or two we get down and we're playing a game and he plays moat and trombley is like fuck that's an expensive card and like fucking you have it's it's not moat it's a proxy of moat yeah like how do you fucking have that card do you have that money for it because you're whatever not working or whatever um and come to find out he doesn't own it he was just testing it out but that was the, the rules we all sat down as yeah. this group and set out the rules of if we're playing with proxies well i mean i trombley no, this is where i was yeah, gonna say go the ahead. energy thing is trombley called them out on it and this isn't anything wrong that trombley did but trombley was angry and came yeah. at him being like not that that was not trombley's fault he said why are you playing with that it's well actually no we we brought him over uh now i'm kind of i wasn't there no i wasn't there so he came over to play he called him out that that night, but then he came over to play at Trombley's house, and that felt like an intervention, and that's where it went really wrong, where it should have been more of Trombley and him talking. Instead, it oh, was yeah. Trombley, myself, Tyson, Jeremy, and then he came in, and it was like, because it was eating Trombley up, because it was like, we just made these fucking rules, and he's like, dude, I didn't like how you did the moat thing, and because we were all there, defense mode... And yeah. that's kind of the aggression aggression person that he is just turned into this huge, like yeah, bigger fight than we've ever seen besides me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't think I was there for that one either. Yeah. No. It, so it went. So it was, it, I, I was thinking differently. I thought Trombley came at him highly, but he didn't. He brought, he discussed it with all of us and we decided to have yeah. this talk and then he actually got very defensive about it. And then that's basically and, how it, but ended I think, I it. think, I think the other thing to consider though, is like, if you're going into a hot situation and you know, somebody like him can be hot headed, and mm -hmm. so can 
you know, so can Trombley. And I think he well, understands and knows that, he, <laughs> you know, so I can, I can say that. Yeah. But if. <clears throat> Plus he doesn't if, listen if to this Grant podcast gets anymore hot, anyway. If he gets so hot, <laughs> it's like, it's going to raise everybody else up and you need to be like, okay, I need to stay calm. You know what I mean? This is that back and forth of just like, <clears throat> Technically, if he wanted to proxy moat and he came out and was like, hey, I want to test this. Is that cool, would, you guys? It that would have been fine. That would have been fine at that point. We'd have been like, yeah, go ahead. Test it on this deck. Being open with what you're doing. Yes. Communicate. Communicate. A big thing is just communicate. Like if you walked in and you just did, you just started playing a game and you had like the card flipped over. You didn't know who the commander was until you were about to play it. And then you're like, oh, this is... uh this is my non-legend commander. I just wanted to build a deck around it. And everybody's like, what the fuck? Yeah, you just, <laughs> just, just, just say that it's not a commander. Talk with us about it. Like, if yeah. you want to bend the rules, break the rules, whatever, as long as you communicate with it beforehand, right. you're not wasting your own time. Again, it's, it's kind of like probably going to be fine. It's kind of like uh, this week's uh, proxy, proxy time video, uh, Food Chain. If you're playing a Food Chain... If you let people know that this isn't a food chain that goes in combos, then you're probably a little bit, you know, you aren't going to yeah. get shit on of like, this isn't a combo food chain. It's just a food chain. It's more and of the communication of, see how I kind of mixed in some of the other videos. Oh, all right, all right. Look at that. <laughs> so, but it's, it's about communicating. Cause again, yeah, we're, we're saying thing. that you're directing this towards friends. I've heard a lot of like shady things when it comes to like online, random people, like they're gonna lie on the rule zero. It seems like constantly, um, and I don't. I don't know that. I don't play with random people because I, we're lucky I don't enough like that people. we we have a we we're lucky enough that <laughs> we have uh, a good play group and the Discord at this point playing yeah. with people yep. that are similar to how we do things. But also, I do want to mention with that is when we talk about counter spells and tutors. Yes. We talk about that one is kind of a bit, but yeah, two it's as <laughs> it's a bit, but two, it's a personal preference. It's something that we're yeah. making the game more fun for ourselves. Um, and we don't expect everybody to do that. Like I don't go into this and I give a fucking, name. I saw a counter spell in the first game I played. I, I laughed my ass off. It didn't happen to me. So I laughed my ass off <laughs> the second game uh, with you with the, the one that's recorded. You guys can watch that video. There's a red counter spell. Lowry gets his ass countered. Got, I laughed my I, ass I got off got again. from two. Second time. Yeah. Red counter spell. Second time in the both Discord games. If you want to watch the last ones over the last month, both of them are red counter spells. Yeah. We, I, I don't get mad at those. Like, I no. understand. I don't, don't change your deck because we do that. Like, that's our... We're not yucking your yum. If your yum yes. is countering spell, like, having that in your deck, that's totally fine. I don't look down on you. I don't go, ugh. Can't believe I'll give you shit. Yes, but it don't, I really don't care. Like, as long as you're not trying to make the game unfun. Like, if, if your yep. goal is I am playing counter spells only to counter spells, it has nothing to do with what I'm doing in this deck. I have, like you mentioned earlier, I have no win con. It's just to counter spells. Then you're a fucking asshole and I probably won't play with you anymore. Like, it's. That's what it well, is. Or, or if you're just targeting somebody, that yeah. that feels pretty unfun. But again, that's a conversation to be had. You know, and somebody might show up and and just have a counter spell for me or you, and like it's going to be maybe a meme joke. But that would suck to you know. One time is fine. Are you, are you talking about? Smith? Uh, it was and... just yeah. Like, no, okay. but it, it's it's funny <laughs> because it's us. Right. But again. So we have things that <laughs> let me side note on that. Cause we had to do a little, when we had the, the battle box leagues going on, which we have to still discuss if we're doing that for this commander yeah. thing. Whatever. We might do that for commander, the commander guys. Legends just, too. Just so you know, All right. If you want to join the discord uh, anyways, that's just a dollar dollar or more gets you in the discord and then you can play battle box league with the commander legends coming up. Anyways, we had to calm that shit down because what was happening is we were getting into the league games and it was just kill a Smith first. Yeah. And it's different. Like when we build our yeah. decks, we know that we're probably being attacked first. Yeah. Um, and so we can build things a little, you know, to interact with that with, with limited resources. 
they had to put <laughs> they finally i got it sucked yeah, it sucked hard it sucked when everybody you're just getting knocked out right away and i was like well this is fucking awesome i'm glad i'm doing this league game so i can die in 10 minutes and then be out of the game so they put a little hold on it during league games because we don't have the same build structure it's, that yeah. we do with with are limited with our resources <clears throat> And so, that, like, it's fun. Memes are fun. But basically, yeah, I think. <laughs> I think <laughs> so, Stop I, it. you know, again, there we don't like counter spells. We don't tutor. But we don't expect that of other people. We don't really combo either. But, again, we don't, ha- uh, like. I missed your tutor. <laughs> yeah, all right. We don't necessarily expect people to not do those things. It'd be nice in the rule zero to to know that. You know, like, do you, if you have a combo in there where you're just going to be able to win and and if you do like, that's good to know. But again, you don't, you you probably don't even have to, don't lie about it, but you don't have to say anything about it either. Like just give the theme. Um, And so again, it's case by case basis. Understand that when we're talking about this, you're playing with your friends. You don't want to be a shyster. And don't lie about it either. Like, if you're just going like, hey, I want to keep this a secret until my thing goes off. It might be funny the first time, like, if it's a bit. Yeah. Like, if it's, yep. like, you have a full counterspell deck just to counter Adam and Lowry's stuff. Hey, it's funny yep. the first time. Yeah. But don't do it. But ever, if, like, if we if, face that, if, ev- we, if every we face we that play, the entire time, like. Guess what? We're not be playing bitter. you anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'll be better. <laughs> but like and that and that goes to a lot of social social contract things mm-hmm. you know what i mean like the mass land destruction you know if you're just making a meme counterspell deck that fucking you know that could suck but again be funny you you need to be able to like present these things yeah all right i don't know if we're all right I'm well i also well to, to to say one thing with that is you can also read the the players of like certain like for example um, number two, I probably won't play, uh, Magda with, I, I don't know if he's kidding with it, but he's said enough that he hates Magda so much that if I'm playing number two, Magda is not being played. Like, he's just like, I okay. fucking hate it. Cause it's, it's a tutor for your whole deck. It's really good. Whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. I try to I play agree. Magda in a four person deck. I don't, or four person game. Three persons a little tough because it can kind of take over. Although you did, that's the only loss it has is in a three person game. So just, just so you know, but Mm -hmm. if you read the, the players too, if you have that, that social cue of knowing, Hey, so-and-so player doesn't like when I play this deck, I'm going to try to avoid playing. Uh, The thing is, I said it earlier. The best thing in commander is when you have a fucking fantastic fun game. Like that Mm -hmm. is the best Mm -hmm. thing in commander. You like it was a ton of fun on Thursday with uh, Jake and Travis. Like, That was a fun game. Even though I wasn't doing much with Hinata, like I still had a couple of gasps Yeah, and it was fun to watch everything. Like it was, it was a fun game to be a part of. So like, you that, got, that's you got what I aim for. I'm happy. Yeah. I got <laughs> counterspell. That was great. I did one thing and it got counterspell. That's great. <laughs> it was a big no. game changer and it got counterspelled by a, <laughs> I know it was brutal. <laughs> it was perfect. Perfect timing. It was, it was awesome. But yeah. So, I mean, the thing is, is, read what players like you would just want to have fun. I think that's the other thing I wanted to, this is going to double back on stuff that we talked about earlier. The, the fight with Jake uh, was when I cared more about winning than I do now. Now it's more of as long as my deck is doing something, as long as I'm actually having like having things happening in the game, I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. before it was like, I got to win. I got to win. I got to win. And my decks were always built on tutors and, you know, I'm uh, sorry, tutors and I don't have that button, you know, doing the combos and trying to, uh, to make sure that no one does anything. And I'm shutting everything down. Now it's just like, how fun can I make a really good, efficient deck off of me drawing cards and not tutoring yeah. for, yeah. Tutoring for stuff? Cause drawing, drawing cards is the replacement for tutors. And so, so we have a lot of that. So, yeah. uh, you, you hit your notes. So you have some things. Okay. So I only have about two things that I want to say, and I don't know how to get this one in there. So I'm just going to say it. Okay. So listen, Yes. when somebody is confronting you and, or you're confronting them, but understand that it doesn't have to be solved right then and there mm. because that understand that, that 
me as a stereotypical man, if somebody comes to me with a problem, I want to fix it right then and there. And again, people might be upset. They might be heated. But, but no matter what, understand that people, it's hard for people to change. Mm -hmm. And so it takes time for an idea to set and and change a little bit and have empathy. I, you know, self I don't have empathy right away. Is, is difficult, you know? Yes. So Absolutely. Just saying what is bothering you gets something rolling. Yeah. Because again, when we had the Jake confrontation and the issue, I had no idea that Adam was having an issue, that Jake was behind my shoulder and we were basically working together. Mm -hmm. And it made a ton of sense when you said it, but I had no idea up until that point and it was already too late. Right. And so, but understand if you bring it up, make sure, understand oh, that you don't have to have the solution right then. Right. So just, just an idea out there. Well, j okay. Go, just let me piggyback on that is. Yeah. If I would have been able to say that earlier to one of you or like, I, yeah. I, I know I, I probably wouldn't have said it to Jake because he would have taken it poorly. Potentially. But yeah. you, I could but have if gone, you were right, hey, Lowry, yeah. it really bothers me when Jake gets behind you after he loses and starts telling you what to do because then it feels like it's a two-on-one, and it really bothers me. In that situation, when Jake lost, he would have gone behind you and you'd been like, ah, Jake, I'm good. Don't worry about it. I, you know, Maybe just, ah, I'm yeah. good. I'm good. And it, that would have been, been different right if, yeah, yeah. But because, and I, I could have been like, this is what I got. And then like, Hey, just, just chill. And the you other know? thing that that did is there were many, many nights I'd go up after we got done playing cards yeah. and I'd go up to Cindy and she goes, how, how did games go? And I'm like, fucking suck. Like I'd bitch. I would bitch the whole time. Yeah. I was just like, it sucked. Cause this and this and this happened and this happened, dude, I can't remember a time in the last uh, seven years, five, seven years that I've gone into the, like going to bed and Cindy going, how do, how do games go on? I bitch. I haven't bitched because it's, it's such, and that might be a different mentality of how I play to at this point. Yeah. But it was a very, it um, it wasn't a very healthy <laughs> <laughs> thing that was going no, on. No, it wasn't. But the and thing again, is, is, and the, but reiterating the is, I didn't that talk. this is, yeah, I didn't reiterating this is supposed me. to be fun. Yeah. So if you're not having fun, communicate that, but be specific. Yeah. Um, The last thing that I don't know if we can say this. <clears throat> so there's, again, this is kind of included with the like first blood person. Like if you're attacked first and you get upset and you just attack, attack that other person, it just becomes like a side game that understand, like maybe some people enjoy that, but if you don't tell that person, honestly, just tell that person. And that folds into, if you feel like you're being targeted and you don't like it or don't understand you can communicate that, but also don't overplay that card. Like, if you're like, why are you hitting me? And and you always feel like it's a better solution for somebody else. The, I think the mindset that I at least have is, can could I be a target? Maybe I'm not the most optimal, mm -hmm. but if I could be a target, then it makes sense. Right. Then it's fine. It might suck. It might like have you not have the setup like you wanted, but if you could be the target, then just be chill about it. That's one of those things that you just kind of swallow. Yeah. Like you got to hold on to that a little bit because if you're complaining about any little inner, like not just any, but every little interaction that you have going on, then like people are going to hold that negative association with you. Yep. And so that's something that you kind of got to eat. You got to learn how to deal with it on your own. And if you feel like you're being picked on, figure that out too. Right. But you need to like, think about that a little bit. Well, you know, that that's, that's one of those like choose. Right. That, and that's a hard thing too, is I'm right. going to jump back to grant situation is it turns into not being fun 
playing against that person because mm -hmm. what ends up happening is I have to justify everything I do to yes. you when I, I'm attacking you. Why are you attacking me? Lowry's the biggest threat. Why aren't you do, killing his thing? Why aren't you doing this? And it's like, if I have to, I don't need to justify everything I'm yeah. doing here. Like this, then it turns into, I just don't want to play with you because everything I'm going to do, you're going to bitch about, or you're going to come at me full force because I did something wrong. The retaliation it, or the retaliation. Just have fun. Don't bitch about everything. Yep. Don't turn everything. And that's the thing is, is I've recently been more, uh, I guess in tune, I guess with politics. Um, I hated it before. I hated trying to be like, how I'm going to win the game is by cutting a deal with so-and-so and we aren't attacking each other for five turns or not attacking each other until this person's dead. I hate that. Yeah. I hated that. I'm becoming more and more fine with that. It's kind of another little thing to the game. Normally mm -hmm. I'm like, I want my deck to win and do its thing. But now that I care more about how the game goes, I'm becoming more and more fine yeah. with that being like, Hey dude, if you don't attack me for a turn, I won't kill your thing or whatever. Yeah. And I'll kill so and so stuff. But the thing is, is it doesn't always. You don't. When people do stuff to you, it's not always a grudge against you, and you don't need to fucking turn it towards them. It's part of the yeah. game. It's what happens in the game. And you need to you need to progress the game. If everybody just wanted to like build walls, <laughs> wall then that's decks. what you're that's doing. Exactly. <laughs> build just, wall decks. Let's get Arcady decks. Whoever gets Arcady's down first wins. Like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's the thing is like, I think, but I, think I mean, the, do you remember like 60 card casuals back when we were God, kids? It was just it. fucking like creature, 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 yeah. creature. It literally looked like a wall across <laughs> and then you'd start doubling up on the top side and the other, and then you'd be like, okay, if uh, I right. attacked with these 15 creatures, two would get through and I deal about <laughs> two damage. I'll wait, go, you know, like <laughs> if that's what we wanted the game to be, then that's what you want the game to be but be conscious that a lot of people don't want that to be the game. Like yeah. it's fine if you wrath of God or, or one side of wrath or, or get rid of that propaganda to make sure other people can attack you. Like one big thing about having your stuff removed or um, you being attacked is you have no idea more than likely what other people are holding and they don't know what you're holding. Exactly. This, that's the mystery of it. And so or you don't know what their justification of why they did yeah, it, you know, yeah. like they're, they're maybe you there is a grudge. Maybe it is something that happened and I'm like, all right, this is going against you, but there, there might it be, could be that negative association. It could be that like that bolus effect, you know, I, you know, again, kill the Smiths, even if we're in a poor position, <laughs> what, our it. discord and our buddies all think like that. They yeah. go, okay um kill us what's first. the best choice it's probably to attack trombley but it's pretty close to lowry so i'm gonna get lowry <laughs> that that yes, happens that's happened. all the time all the, all the time. time and if you're not comfortable and we, with that and we like, don't play tutors yeah uh, and we don't play fucking counter spells and it always comes in our face oh man that was poor choice of words there <laughs> gross <laughs> absolutely or, never happened to me or lucky <laughs> no, I don't know if it's if that lucky. happened to me, I would not grow my beard this long. <laughs> it just gets in the hair. I can't get it out. Agreed. It is. I mean, I don't know that specifically, <laughs> but so I've, um, I've heard my friend is asking. I mean, a friend told me <laughs> I saw the movie. It was, uh, uh, something about Mary. It was a Ben Stiller. Yeah, you know? <laughs> but it was the hair and not the beard. <laughs> uh, let's I'm just trying to see if I've hit every all my points. I think it's pretty good, yeah. dude. I think we had a good. We didn't know how. Give you guys a little this behind all right. the curtains this thing. All right. <laughs> it's it's all over the place. We just had this broad idea of just making the game fun. Like the thing is, is this is. I'm gonna give if you a little. There, if there are examples or ideas that you want to be able to put in the comments. Put them down there. People Look read comments. Look at you. Look yeah, at you no, not that. meaning to. I'm just trying to help people out. Normally, it's just who cares. But this is trying to help people out in social interactions with uh, social cues and just trying to figure out like how to like is navigate your, life. That's your notes, isn't it? That's no, it isn't. Oh, it is wow. not. This is coming yeah. off your brain. 
<sighs> Where was that and in Stump the Smith Savant? I, <laughs> I didn't kidding. know. I don't know those cards. She <laughs> she picked the right one. She's good. And so it's what was I talking about? <laughs> uh, put it in the comments. We want to know like okay, uh, yeah. other people yeah. interact They're, with all that. You're going to have other experiences. Mm. And if people go and look at those experiences, that's, you know, something that can be helpful for people or resonates with them or connects with them. And, you know, we, we never pretend to know everything except for stump the Smith savant name. Like that <laughs> fucking makes me look like an ass, but it, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, just trying to be helpful. Mm-hmm. Just trying to be, you know, nope. empathetic and nice. And just there, talk. It's, it's super, it's super, like, complex how people react. Maybe none of this even matters to you and your play group. Maybe you're all just a bunch of assholes to each other and love it. Love it. That just, who can be the biggest asshole? Like, yep. that's, that's fine. There, I, that's, and, and I think CEDH is kind of different as well. You know, like this is one thing that we didn't touch on was power level within decks. Like I think casual has a power level issue. You don't know which is not everything but CEDH and CEDH. You go into CEDH. If you complain about somebody comboing, you're just dumb. Like you don't understand what you're playing against. Like that's what CEDH is. It's anything and everything goes try and fucking win as quick as you can or the most interaction, like everything goes and that is perfectly fine. You, there's no, just do it. That's, that's what it is. It's a modern or legacy for commander. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you, I didn't mean to call anybody stupid, but it's maybe a lot of what we're talking about here is Below CEDH. Yes. You know, some, think... some of the conversations of like, this hey, all... you're being a dickhead about this. Yeah, if you're a dick, then yeah, you don't, that's yeah. still part no, of you, CEDH. You still don't want to be a dickhead. But I'd say that the, the deck your stuff, friends. it's the communication stuff. If it's, yeah. you're wanting to play fun games, I'm not saying CEDH isn't I think, fun. Yeah, I've, I've seen at least some CEDH um, like videos and there's a lot of interaction. It looks really, really fun. I don't have anything against it. I just know that's not where I'm at. That's where we you know came I mean? from. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we came from three, we car, were still, three we, turn I, when we were below. I would say we were just a high power at that point. Yeah. Because we still didn't combo a lot. We just had control of the game by turn three or four. Yeah. In 60 and so, and some, some people could, yeah, at 60, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Power level is a hard discussion to have, and that's something that if you're with a regular play group, you should kind of know where those. You know what would be a better are, and this is kind of just talking off the top of my head. And we've talked about it. We'd had Dana on and talked about power level stuff there a little bit. Yeah. What if more so a power level is, um, instead of saying, I, I think I saw Nick also talk about this is where this deck could typically win a game what yeah. turn so if it's like you know you're looking at between turns three and five well then your power levels fucking way up there if you're looking at turns six to ten then you're probably a power level you know eight to seven to eight or something like that you know like maybe what we should more so be thinking instead of power levels is turn where does this 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 deck where can it win the game potentially yeah and that's that's tough you can't some decks are tougher where it's like well this deck will grind it out and it takes a long time it's still a high powered deck but it takes a while to get this one going and that that fits in because then it's like well my deck also takes a while good deck it has all the the stuff it's controlling whatever but it still takes a while so maybe it's more of a turn base maybe we talk about this in a different episode but maybe it's more yeah. of a turn base of where you're, instead of a deck power level, it's a turn base of when you win. Potentially. I Potentially. I don't know. It's probably been said before. I just, you, you made that point and I was thinking that. So and I've seen Nick talk about it. So. Um, I think I'm good. Yep. Are you Me good? Too. I'm good. Uh, we need to move on anyways, because we're going to get to two hours somehow. We can do it every fucking time. All right. So, uh, all right. We move into we our last on? segment. How are we doing? 
Pick Basilis call. Just vote for it. Part. Don't worry about it. <laughs> See, we're done. We can just end it after the song. That's all right. All right. So first off, we have to talk about last week. So if you guys don't know how this segment works, we have a scenario of two cards here. Might be staples, might not be staples. One of them might be, both of them might be. In this case, they both might be. Uh, but you guys have, there's one spot left in this deck and we'll lay out the scenario for these particular cards. These are going to be the same scenario. Uh, but last week we had Thunderstaff versus propaganda. I'm glad you didn't laugh there. All right. <clears throat> Where do you think this one went? Like 80, wait, 20, wait, 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 uh, let's say curated MTG against propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, when you put it that way, probably 90-10. Uh, okay, so we had YouTube voting 24% for Thunderstaff. Ooh, I'm impressed. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, even a little better was Twitter at 28% for Thunderstaff. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm doing the low numbers for you. Oh, uh, and Discord. Where? Where? Do you, this is what it should be the guess. Is where 50, do you think 50. Dis- Fucking Discord. Four, 14%. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> they turned on you, buddy. Ugh. I will wear my crown today. Hang on, let me take my hat off. My That's hair is brutal. crazy. That's brutal percentages. Uh, feels good. It looks crown. better on you anyway. This That's crown fine. back on. I got, I got my tiger crown going. <laughs> I see a tiger. Did you ever watch Tiger King? I don't no. think you did, did you? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so what do we got going this week, Lowry? So we have two cards here. Let's not fight for it yet. We got to lay out the scenario here, even though they're very similar. I mean, what's the scenario? You want one equipment to do some cool shit. And they both have one CMC. Yeah. They're both an equipment. Yeah. And they both equip for two. They both give lifelink. And then, I don't think I need to do much with this one. <laughs> maybe not. I mean, you do. So, like, uh, and then so what Basilisk do we got? Caller, Basilisk Basilisk Caller Caller against the, the Shadow Sphere. The difference is Death Touch. Mm-hmm. Death Touch is pretty sweet because when you deal damage, one or two or whatever, it, it's going to kill whatever creature it blocks or is able to deal damage because it doesn't have to be combat damage. You can have... Don't roll your eyes at me, young man. It's, you know... If you like cast a Chandra's outburst on a one, one death touch, it's going to kill all the other creatures. That's pretty fucking sweet. In my opinion. Um, but you wouldn't put it on a one, one. I'm just putting worst case scenario. You put it on your biggest creature and you're going to gain all that life and kill all the other creatures. No matter what is power and toughness? There's no tutors going on. And, <laughs> And so, like, that's the cool thing about the death touch aspect of it is it has, you know, if I'm putting, this can go in any deck that you want to think of. If, I, if I'm if i choosing between, like, Niv-Mizzet Perun, I'm going to put, I'm going to put Basilisk Color in there because it can just start pinging off whatever creature's in play. And what happens when they have, Shadow like, Spear hexproof? can't do that. What happens what? when they have Hexproof? Well, then it just becomes a shadow spear. You know what I mean? It, <laughs> it becomes worse as a shadow spear. You know, you're still potentially gaining that life. You can still deal damage to whatever you're, you're pinging it. You're how you're pinging them. What are you doing? What do you mean? If, if they're the creatures you're trying to ping have hex proof. If it has hex proof, are you saying that you would pay the one and take off the hex proof and just deal one damage? Sure. Because, because shadow spear kill couldn't kill that creature. What, what happens if it, if they're indestructible? Well, then it's then it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I mean, curious. What anyway. happens? What happens if it's indestructible with Shadow Spear? What happens? You you pay one and permanence your opponent's control, lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Are we saying that's good? Like if you're pinging with Niv Mizzet Perun. I'm gonna and their creature has indestructible, you want, and you're going to deal that one damage? Like, it doesn't matter. It's not going to die anyway. Who cares? Indestructible's not even that good. Nobody uses it. 
You're just playing with your mic because. <laughs> All right, doing, Indestructible is pretty a, good. I've, I've tried to do a mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, basically, this card was Shadow Spear was made to like fight against heroic intervention. You're like, oh, you heroic intervention, I'm going to pay one to get rid of that. And lightning, or not lightning greaves, I guess it would be uh, your your favorite, swift foot boots. Swift, no, maybe. Yeah, because it wouldn't get rid of, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, shroud, but it'll no, get it rid of hexproof. Yeah. Um, I don't have to say a lot here. What do you mean? <laughs> what else does it do? What does it do? I don't remember okay. what bad cards do. Well, let me point this out. Uh, how long has Basilisk Collar been out? Uh, 10 years. For, from World Wake, right? Yeah. 25,000 EDH rec decks, right? Yeah. And we're, we're talking about a similar a thing where, you know, it's an art. These are both artifacts. So we're not, these are going to be in the same decks. If, you know, if you're looking in, for like lifelink, these are the two best options. Yes. Um, How long has Shadow Spear been out? Two and a half years. 46,000 EDH rec decks. So almost double? Two years compared to 10? I mean, what's your what's your point <laughs> that you're trying to get at here? Uh, or I'll Look, tell you this. Okay, I, okay. It's here, not here, my here, fault here. that there's 25,000 decks that are wrong. <laughs> that are dark. Here, They're just putting I, it in there as a general, like, oh, maybe I'm going to run into hexproof and or indestructible, and here, here's not what have I'll to say. have it be an equipment. Here, here's here. I'll give you one little little nugget. Yours is probably going in more like Voltroni type decks, where you're adding this death touch to an already big creature that you need to do the one damage, and then everything else goes through and all that fun stuff. The cool thing about Shadow Spear is it doesn't need to go on a creature. Like, it's an equipment that... One of the most rare equipments that is out in play and does something it's not without... not a mythic? No, 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 no. Oh, no, it is actually okay. rare, which... Yeah. <laughs> but it actually does something without being on a creature. Like, you tap one, and that's why you have it in here. So this... So Shadow Sphere fits in all the same decks at Basilisk Collar, except it also fits in the decks that need to target creatures and get rid of Indestructible, which should be in every single deck. So this goes in how many of your decks? What? <laughs> Shadow Spear? Mm, yeah. Like two. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. Uh, Basilisk you know Collar is in more. You know what? Like three say or build, four. Look, I would just say build a better Shadow deck. Spear is really, really, really good. I'll I'll give it that. But if if you are just like in a pinch, Basilisk Collars better. In more specific <laughs> decks, no, no, no. Okay, let's say let's say like everybody's removing your good creatures, <laughs> and you put Shadow Spear on a card, like right. again, a one one or a two two or whatever. So we're, we're like going something very situational. We're, right, well, we're good. going with Smith logic here. You're going to get picked on. <laughs> Shadow Spear it just is going to like it's gaining you life, which is great. But Bass's card does that same thing. But rarely but do I put Shadow Spear even on the creature. I mean, I do because it's an equip too. What do you mean? You're not going to do more, that. That's but it's silly. More so removing the hexproof and the indestructible, you get rid of all those things that you can't normally get rid of and touch. And it's, it's not only for you; it's one and it's actively basically free. This and is free. actively Basilisk Caller is going to be better. It's just better on a chump locker, and with sure. your normal be, with the death touch. Yeah, but this yeah. is going to be in more situations where not only are you able to do it, where if you're you're politicking with somebody, you're like, oh, dude, can you target Lowry's creature? If I take the hexproof off, I've seen that happen so many times with Shadow Spear. Can you do that with Basilisk Collar? No. <laughs> you can't do that with most me. cards. Let's be like, yeah, there I, isn't a lot of things. I mean, we, are we, are we playing bonds of mortality in a lot of I decks? Have, no, so we have many so of many of them. You haven't used bought... it once. It's, <laughs> and guess what? And That's the part the that card. everybody, that you're really harping on was Shadow Spear. Like, <laughs> You like Shadow Spear, but you've no. never played Bonds of Mortality. Why do <laughs> no. you th what do you think Shadow Spear is any good? 
Because it's an artifact, and this goes on your creatures because that's as well. Because it's an artifact. You what? Trample and lifelink. It Not doesn't only, draw you a card. You Bonds of Mortality ahead. draws you a card. You can at yeah. least blink that, or it doesn't it's matter. Just green. There's better Do you know why it doesn't matter? There. Because it doesn't matter. No, it, don't, it, don't, it totally does. <laughs> you know why it doesn't matter? Because uh, it doesn't matter. That felt like rhyming the word with the word uh, <laughs> right there. All right. Look, Massless Caller is better. You it's think not not only okay. equal or underplayed, but it's better. It's it's highly underused. It's been out for fucking ten years. Yeah, it's not my fault that people are wrong. <laughs> Look, no, up Shadow until, Spear up until is the Shadow easy Spear choice. Came out, came out. It was. It, I would have thought, well, twenty five thousand. That's a lot. And then Shadow Spear comes along, and it's like. Oh, 46,000. Okay, I guess this is really good. Generically, I mean, like, okay. So what it did was it took over Loxodon Warhammer's spot. Yes. Like, everybody played Loxodon Warhammer because of the trample and the lifelink, which is really good. And this is just so much more efficient at what that does. And that was, it's a much longer established court. And so... It already had the precedent of being there. And so if you had Loxodon Warhammer, you were just sliding this in and putting it in there. And yeah. and again, this gets rid of the, that, that removal of stuff is huge, dude. That is so big. <laughs> You're such a bullshitter. You're <laughs> such a bullshitter. <laughs> okay, let, let me put it this way. Does Death Touch... Is Death Touch better than Trample and removing Hexproof and Indestructible? I think it is... depends on whatever the people oh, are playing. You're such a if you're playing a Voltron deck where it matters that you have a big creature that you're trying to get it through, <laughs> then it so... makes sense to go with Shadow Spear. But if you have no. a more controlling type game where you're able to deal damage from creatures then i think bass's color is the better card it depends what if, on what the people out there want to vote and play what if, with what if you're doing because it doesn't matter like what you think and they generally have, is good it what depends on what you want to play with <laughs> everything that you're trying to target has hex proof or what is it mean? indestructible what happens then, then get some removal for whatever's giving everything hex proof so get multiple play, other make a play better other. deck Play other cards on top of your Basilisk Caller instead of having a Shadow Spear that has it all combined into one? Can you kill cards with Shadow Spear? No. <laughs> you Yeah, you can make them so they can be killed. You make it that they can be killed. Great. <laughs> if you repeat me, it doesn't go away. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it in a different tone of voice. <laughs> I think it worked. <laughs> All right, you guys can vote for these cards. You can jump on Twitter. Uh, you can vote there. You can jump on YouTube on the community tab, and you can vote if you're a part of the Discord. Vote there. We will announce the winner next week with uh, the chance to get the crown. Uh, I think that'll do it for this week, right? I guess we'll have a new oh, fucking card. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I guess we'll have a new card to try to give away. You guys can definitely oh stump Lowry if you want to enter. <laughs> you want to win some cards? Just enter because he will give them away to you guys. All I right, know what it is. I just don't know the name. <laughs> yeah, That's what we should change it to. I know what it is. I don't know the name. <laughs> I should get that little clip there of you saying that and just plug it in. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right that should do it for this week we will catch you guys next week uh, thanks for listening see ya bye see ya. i love boobs i'm talking ta -tas. i have a troll I love boobs. that's what i changed to oh. so I new belgium 1554 god is this I good so good boobs. i just hit my computer <laughs>